Members of the Board of Education, administrators, faculty, parents, family members, and inductees, welcome to the 2020-2021 NJHS induction ceremony. We are gathered here to formally recognize those students who have been selected for having successfully completed their candidacy and being inducted as new members of the NJHS, one of the nation's oldest, largest, and most prestigious student recognition programs. The National Association of Secondary School Principals officially established NJHS in 1929, eight years after it founded the National Honor Society for High School Students. Five main purposes have guided the chapters of NJHS from the beginning. To create enthusiasm for scholarship, to stimulate a desire to render service, to promote leadership, to encourage responsible citizenship, and to develop character in the students of secondary schools. These purposes also translate into the criteria used for members membership selection in each local chapter. In addition to being an eighth grader with a minimum 3.5 grade point average, which established our eligibility for NJHS membership, our chapter members must also be involved in their school and community. This is evident in their participation in sports and clubs and by their community service activities. It is at this time that we proclaim to all in attendance that membership in the East Liverpool Junior Senior High School chapter of the National Junior Honor Society has been earned by these candidates through the effective demonstration of the five qualities that serve as standards for the society. Five inductees will now review these qualities for the candidates and light the corresponding candle. Scholarship. Scholarship denotes a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and study, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when formal education has ended, for human education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element in life, which leads to the highest success, and it can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past, the torch guiding us to understand the present, and the light that illuminates the future. Inductees have the charge to continually expand their world to the opportunities inherent in scholarship. Service. Service can be established in the routine of the day's work when many opportunities arise to help others both in school and in the community. A willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or public recognition is a quality and seek we seek in our membership and promote for our entire student body. We are committed to volunteering our time and talents to create a better tomorrow. Leadership. A leader should exert a wholesome influence on the school and take an initiative in the classroom and in school activities. The real leader strives to train and aid others to reach their common goal of success. The price of leadership is sacrifice. The willingness to yield one's personal 
interests for the interests of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate, no matter what power and resources may exist in a school, community, or nation. They are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed, thus to lead is a meaningful and substantive charge to each of our members. Character. Character is the force within each individual that distinguishes one person from others. It gives each of us our individuality. It is that without which no one can respect oneself nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is this force of character that guides one through life and once developed grows steadily. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant action and striving daily to make the right choice. The problem of character is the problem of self-control. We must be, in reality, what we wish to appear to others. By demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship, we may hope to prove by example that we value character. Citizenship. Citizenship, the obligations which each member of our society faces to live up to the democratic ideals given to us by the founders of our country. The responsibilities each of us has to our home, community, our state, our nation, and our world are many. As good citizens, we are bound to live up to the laws and guidelines which unite us as a civilized society. Good citizens work together to improve not only our lives, but the lives of all of our fellow citizens. Good citizenship requires that we remain strong and vigilant in protecting the freedoms and rights that have been granted to us and in preventing injustice from entering our lives. We, the members of the chapter, are called to live up to the high standards of citizenship from this day forward. I need um, the new inductees to please stand. <coughs> I need you to raise your right hand and repeat the lines after me. I pledge myself to uphold the high standards of the National Junior Honor Society to which I have been selected I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be loyal to my school and will maintain and encourage high standards of scholarship, leadership, service, character, and citizenship. You may be seated. Now, as your name is called, please step forward to the stage to be recognized and to receive your certificate of membership. Audience, please hold your applause until all inductees have been recognized. <coughs> Nicholas Aldridge. 
Nicholas is the son of Brooke Birch and Nate Aldridge. He was on the cu cross country team this fall and is a member of the YMCA Wave Runner swim team. He is also a member of student council and the academic team. Ayla Brown. Ayla is the daughter of Andrea and Maurice Brown. She played volleyball and basketball in both seventh and eighth grade. She currently participates in track. She has also helped at volleyball clinics for young athletes and was shop with the cop. Owen Fredericks. Owen is the son of Sean and Jamie Fredericks. Owen played on the seventh and eighth grade basketball team. He is also participating in track this year, was selected as the December Merit Scholar for this school year, and attends the Wellsville First Christian Church. Hallie Maltrich. Hallie is the daughter of Donald and Amy Maltrich. She played seventh grade volleyball for the East Liverpool Potters and J.O. Volleyball for Club Hollywood. Hallie has volunteered at Greenford Christian Church, packing meals for those in need in Guatemala. She has also worked with Tri-State Ford, serving the community through the CommuniCycle Outreach Program. Elise Montgomery. Elise is the daughter of John and Amy Montgomery. Elise was February's Merit Scholar. She was a member of the seventh grade student council plays tennis, and dances ballet. She is an active member of the Holy Trinity Parish and Youth Ministry. <laughs> Trisha Bates. Trisha is the daughter of Tara and Sean Bates. She participated in softball through Beaver County her seventh grade year and helps her grandmother and neighbors with yard work. Cameron Bennett. Cameron is the son of James and Summer Bennett. He was a, a member of the River Valley uh, baseball fall, fall ball team in seventh grade. He volunteers regularly with the USO and the Heroes Supporting Heroes organization. Bailey Campbell. Bailey is the daughter of Kelly and Isaac Campbell. In seventh and eighth grade, she played outdoor soccer for the Beaver Youth Soccer League for both spring and fall seasons. She also played indoor soccer this winter. She sings and leads worship service for Point of Mercy Sanctuary twice a month and is involved in the church youth group. Olivia Cornell. Olivia is the daughter of David and Cassie Cornell. She is a green belt in karate and is in Girl Scouts. She volunteers at the annual citywide food drive in Toronto and with Toys for Toronto. Catherine Davis. Catherine is the daughter of Cindy and Robert Davis. She was part of the volleyball and basketball team for seventh and eighth grade she volunteers as a bat girl for the high school softball team and donates to the Salvation Army. She was the Merit Scholar for the month of November. Gabriella Donaldson. Gabriella is the daughter of Christopher and Pamela Donaldson. She was a member of the seventh grade football and wrestling teams. She was a member of the eighth grade basketball team and is currently involved in track and band. Annabelle Fitch. Annabelle is the daughter of Crystal and Heath Fitch. She participates in playing soccer for Beaver Youth. She is also active in her church youth group.
Ainsley Galliotti. Ainsley is the daughter of Nick and Marissa Galliotti. She played basketball, was a member of the academic team, and ran track in seventh and eighth grade. She also plays AAU basketball. Jose Garcia. Jose is the son of Jose and Holly Garcia. He participated in seventh and eighth grade track and seventh grade basketball. He helped with concessions at football games and is currently in the Kent State Rur Rural Scholar Program. Jacob Gibbis. Jacob is the son of Angela and Ronald Reed. He participates in karate and MMA. Lillian Grog. Lillian is the daughter of Roberto and Catherine Grog. She is a member of the choir and has helped with various volunteer activities through her CCD class. Ella Ludwig. Ella is the daughter of Jake and Val Ludwig. She participated in volleyball both seventh and eighth grade year, was on the student council in seventh grade, and she also participates in JO volleyball. Adam Marcano. Adam is the son of Natasha Rodriguez and Dietrich Orell. He was on the eighth grade football team and has volunteered by helping family and friends. Anna McElhaney. Anna is the daughter of Twyla McElhaney. She was a cheerleader in seventh and eighth grade she also participates in track and softball. She volunteers at CommuniCycle. Austin Musgrove. Austin is the son of Amy and Adam Hutchison. In seventh grade, he competed in the Columbiana County Spelling Bee he was also a member of the gaming club in seventh grade, and he volunteers by helping his grandmother. Robert Neiser. Robert is the son of Valerie and Robert Neiser Jr. He volunteers at community cleanups around the city and is part of the upcoming Project OT mentorship program. Eliza Elijah Sosnevich. Elijah is the son of Dan and Michelle Sosnevich and Amber and Kyle Nepper. He was a member of the football and basketball teams in seventh and eighth grade. He was a member of the academic challenge team in seventh grade. He volunteers his time at the River Valley Youth Baseball Complex, helping maintain fields, and helps with the East Liverpool Community Days in East End. John Wyand. John is the son of Chris and John Wyand. He was a member of the football and basketball teams for seventh and eighth grade. He volunteers at Bible school and received the academic award in football, basketball, and wrestling. Kylie Zellers. Kylie is the daughter of Melissa and Brian Zellers. She is a member of the band and in her free time volunteers around the neighborhood, helping anyone who is in need.
congratulations to the inductees. And as a token of membership, as you ex exit today's ceremony, each inductee will receive a special gift. You will receive an assortment of sweets on an East Liverpool City Schools plate that was part of a collection used in the cafeteria in 1968 when the building was relocated from downtown to its present location. May this serve as a special reminder of your Potter pride as you continue your education here at the East Liverpool Junior Senior High School. Now Mrs. Moore has a few remarks. Before I go on, let's give everyone a round of applause here. <laughs> it's a pretty good looking group. The great soccer star Pele once said, success is no accident. It's hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, love of what you're doing or learning to do. You've started that journey of hard work. Continue to challenge yourselves and do not allow failure to stop you from finding out what you really love. Get back up, persevere, and remember, you will always be a potter. Congratulations. <laughs> 